If you like these videos and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Now that my chest table is complete, it's time to start on the chest men. The pawn, the first line of defense in the kingdom. Each player has eight. The base of the pawns will be an inch and three-eighths square. I cut the blocks long so I can get two out of each one. The chess table has a lot of inlay work, so I will add inlay to the bases on the chess men as well. Once the inlays are set and sanded, I run a 1 8 inch core box bit to add that fine detail. The 1 inch hole in the bottom will be for lead that will be melted and poured into each. The patterns are folded in half and then glued on. On the scroll saw, I don't want to cut all the way through. I want all the parts to stay together. I will finish the cut on the table saw to ensure they will all be the same height and square. There's nothing like working on a cold winter's day and cutting enough scraps to keep warm. Next I drill a 6 millimeter hole in the top of each pond. This will be for a dowel to help connect the parts together. I have 8 inch thick walnut and maple that will make up the top caps. After much hand sanding, the top cap and the dowel are glued on. Just the right amount of lead makes them the perfect weight. Now they receive many coats of lacquer with a light sanding between each coat. Now for the top of the ponds, I'm using a brass shelf pin sleeve and a glass marble. The final step is to add felt to the bottom of each. Stay tuned for the next video in making the chess men and check out my video of how I made the chess table.